When I think of fall, I think of cozy blankets and comfort foods. This is my annual fall brunch and I will be sharing three easy recipe ideas. Autumn is here, so why not celebrate? First, I wanna share with you my setup, and this is what I do for most of my buffets. To have a warm and inviting fall buffet is really easy. It's all about layering. I'm starting with the foundation, the tablecloth. Walmart has fleece throws for $2.50, and I'm using it as my tablecloth. It's easy and it's inexpensive. I folded the throat into somewhat a triangle and layered it on top of my island. Next, I added my table riser. This is a DIY, and I will have a link down below in case you guys want to make one. Next, I'm adding my foliage. It can be anything you want. I always try to use some type of foliage to give it that extra touch. I will play with it until I get the look I want. I always like to add some decor. In this case, I'm using my lanterns I got from TJ Maxx six years ago. Inside, I'm adding pumpkins that I got from the Target dollar spot. To keep in theme with the rustic look, I'm utilizing these galvanized storage boxes that I keep on my coffee bar. Inside I will have my flatware and napkins inside them. These galvanized napkin rings are also from the Target dollar spot and they match the storage tins perfectly. I'm using this cutting board that I got from Target and I'm using it to display my mini cupcake stands that I got from Home Goods. Glass dessert cups are also going to be used and they are sitting in a white serving dish. Setting my dishes out the night before makes it so much easier the day of. Mini crates are perfect to use on my buffet. I have a larger one but it's perfect for what I'm using it for and I got them from AC Moore for $2.50 each. I shared this picture on Instagram and you guys wanted the recipe to my shrimp and grits. This traditional low country dish is our family's favorite. Let me show you how easy it is to make. I'm starting with my grits. After bringing your water to a boil, add salt, add butter, and to get the ultimate creamiest grits on the planet, add milk. I'm using whole milk. Be sure to watch after pouring your milk in because it can boil over really quickly. Then add your grits. Then stir often, and for measuring, go by what's on the back of the packaging. While your grits are simmering, it's now time for the shrimp mixture. Everyone makes theirs differently, but this is how I make mine. I use green onion, green and red pepper, onion, flour, oil, and pre-peeled shrimp. I'm going to be sauteing my vegetables until they are softened or to your liking, and then set it aside because you're going to be adding it back into your sauce. I added some Old Bay to my veggies for flavor. I'm making a brown roux. It's flour and fat that's cooked together that will eventually be delicious. Look for a nutty smell after about three minutes. I'm adding chicken broth for flavor, but don't add too much because you don't want it to be like soup. My two key ingredients is Cezanne Goya packets. I use a little bit of both because the chicken broth already has a ton of salt in it and you don't want it to be too salty. Add your veggies back in and your cooked shrimp. At this point, the shrimp just needs heating because it's already cooked. Inside my dessert cups, I'm adding my creamy delicious grits. And then I'm adding the sauce I made earlier. I wish you guys can smell it. It smells amazing. I'm topping it off with more green onion, and you can certainly add bacon to it as well. On what's on top of the buffet. Inside the wooden crates, I lined the inside with dinner napkins and placed blueberry and raisin bagels inside them. Next to it, I have store-bought mini pancakes. Why not? The work is done for you. And garnish them with blueberries. And the thing about these mini stands is that you can put mini quiches or pies on top of them too. And the maple syrup inside the mini tasting spoons are for easy pouring. Next is semi-homemade chili. It's so easy you won't believe it. You can check it out and the recipe on my blog at BeMyGuestWithDenise.com and you can see where I got these adorable stoneware bakers. I hope you guys got some great ideas on how to set up and create your next fall brunch. And if you've enjoyed the video, I would appreciate a thumbs up and I want to thank you all for watching.